Hi, I'm Dr. Himanshu Verma. I'm a vascular and endovascular surgeon at Fortis Gurgaon Hospital. Uh, today we'll talk about thrombolysis. So thrombolysis is a, is a term made of two terms, thrombus and lysis. Thrombus is a medical term for a clot, uh, normal blood which is in liquid form. Inside body, it can uh, be, uh, sometime it can get converted into solid form, which is called thrombus. And lysis, that means dissolving. So uh, in certain medical conditions, when blood gets clotted inside your blood vessels, uh, you know, the procedure, the process of dissolving that is called thrombolysis. Now, in vascular surgery, there are different kind of conditions where uh, we need, uh, you know, the, uh, we, where we need to dissolve this clot. So this uh, thrombolysis is done in veins conditions like pulmonary embolism, where the blood clot goes from the leg veins into lung. There's a serious, uh, you know, uh, life threatening condition. Uh, then the deep vein thrombosis involving leg and abdomen as well. Uh, these are the diseases where thrombolysis is done. Sometimes if your, you know, the blood vessels, arteries to the legs get clotted, um, you know, thrombolysis can help saving the leg. It's important to know how the thrombolysis is done. Now, thrombolysis is done using giving uh, some certain strong medications. Uh, there are different kind of uh, medications, but all of them share the common side effect that if given in higher doses, uh, they can cause spontaneous bleeding inside, uh, in, uh, inside the body. So we have to be careful in selecting patients well. Um, now we have advanced techniques like Penumbra and AngioJet where uh, we combine uh, the two techniques and we can do the same uh, amount of clot clearance the, that is dissolving the clot and sucking it out with much less dose of thrombolysis medications. Um, typically it, it expands the possibility of using into over more and more of the patients and it decreases the, the risk profile a lot.